Society changes when pioneers venture out, push the boundaries, and dare to try something new. Innovation requires flexibility, however. You must anticipate moves and circumvent obstacles to adapt to a new situation. That's how the ancient outlawed African capoeira has survived in Brazilian culture as a game, an art, and a metaphor for life. At the Afro-Brazilian Cultural Center in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Master Pelé and his family do their part to teach the history and keep the practice alive while grappling with the racial and ethnic dilemmas they've had to face in American life. When I moved here, I first came to Minnesota. And I, that's when I first realized that we were separated because in Minnesota, there were blacks, there were whites, and there were Cambodians. They didn't have anybody that looked like me. I wasn't too white and I wasn't too dark, so I was like out of place. And that's when I noticed that I had some black friends in Brazil. <laughs> I didn't realize it until I actually moved here. The racism in Brazil is different. It's, different from it's way different than here. Here there is a lot more hate, hate than, than I think in Brazil. Like you say, you know, in Brazil, I mean, if, if you see a black man, you probably might think, oh, he might want to steal your purse depending on what he's wearing and things like that. It really depends on how you dress yourself here. I think the racism here is a lot more different. And also different. about job in Brazil, it's black people, they, they don't find like a good job. The job that they find is like a, that's a, not a nice job. It's very hard to find a good job in Brazil. Most of the white people, they get the, the best job. Even for bank, a lot of people work in the banks, like uh, people like white people work in the bank. You probably see one, maybe two, but not as a better position, you know what I mean? And this, that's how they discriminate in the capoeira. There was their weapon that they did, so they were not allowed to practice because if they practice that, they would practice to defend themselves or lend their master, so they had to practice in secret. And that's why they use it as a dance, because the slaves like to dance, they have to do all, like to do all the ceremony, all the stuff. So that's why they have to use it as a dance, just like a ceremony, for just to disguise the capoeira. That's why the music and the acrobatics part, they play a big role because they weren't allowed to do anything that has to do with defending themselves. So that's why when their masters would come to, you know, to say, what are they doing, what are they doing? It's actually, oh, they're just doing that type of dance, but it's really not. It's, it is a, a martial art. It was a, it was a way for them to defend themselves, but that's why they have music and acrobatics in it. It's a tough game it, because Capoeira teaches how to be alert. Some people, they're, they're, they want to be better than others, and then they lose the game.